In this video, I want to talk about how easy it is to use the bookshelves in BookBrush to create interesting graphics. This could be for the top of your Facebook group, the top of your newsletter, anywhere that you would like to line up your books. I'm going to show it in a Facebook ad, basically because I like to have a lot of space for the video so you can see it. So first, let's look for the bookshelves. You will find those down here on the left to go to Images choose bookshelf and you'll see a lot of interesting choices in here any one that you want to use you can click place it in the image then double click for editing so you'll probably want to resize you can make it super big move it where you want to of course you can center this um, turn on in the lower right corner the toggle grid lines one click for grid lines one click for the centering tools when you do that when you click this shelf it will get the blue line in the center so you can make sure it is right in the middle if you would like to and then you can add books so this works great for physical books since they'll be sitting on a shelf click on book template on the left choose physical book and then we'll talk about which ones would look nice on the bookshelf this top one on the right for example click the book click your book here and then you can just move it down and place it on the shelf you can also resize and i like to hold shift and resize if you'd like it to be larger and then if you want a second book on the shelf click back to the left and then you can put this on the shelf too now to make sure they're the same size i would just grab those movable centering tools the blue lines move it to the top and to the bottom and then I'll just resize this so I'm going to hold shift, make sure it's touching top and bottom. And then if you have a bunch, you could stack them here, use the arrows to move them in front and behind. And there you have your books on a shelf. So you can line them up there. There are several others that work nicely with the shelf, so we'll show you those too. These are all in the physical book area. You have the skinny option here. And that sits on the shelf nicely. Here, I'll just keep deleting these. You can do this forward facing. And again, you can resize with a slider or hold shift to resize. There are also some ones that look like a hardback, for example. And we'll scroll through their thicker and thinner versions here. And again, you can place these however you want on the shelf. So those are the um, front facing with no spine. There are also now some spine options down here. So if you like the spine look, these can also sit nicely on a shelf. So we'll click one with a spine. This has instructions, so you'll need to do the spine first. Just make sure you click into the spines tab here, for example. And then you can pick one of your spines. If you don't have one, you can make one in the box set creator. So you add your spine first, then it's book cover. So click on covers. And you can line these up on a shelf too. Resize if you want to. Place as many as you would like. And again, use centering tools then to line them up across. So that's um, how easy it is to use these bookshelves for cool things. Now, again, you're going to find the bookshelves in images. Just choose bookshelf and try any one of these shelves and tables to advertise your books.